Hey, what up everybody? I'm Cynical. And this is Dark Souls Remastered on PS4. And it's part 23. <coughs> Excuse me. You get that out of the way early, sorry. I think it's part 23. If it's not, then it'll be funny that I said the wrong part. But part 23, um, we are going to finish off Ula Seal Township. I'm going to show you every spot where you can uh, reveal a secret area with light. So we got our Sorcerer's Catalyst. We got our Cast Light spell from... Uh, I can't remember who. Um, who did we buy that from? I think uh, either Elizabeth or um, Dusk is who you buy that Cast Light spell from. And uh, you'll need that in the future for the Tomb of Giants. So... I mean, unless you want to get the lantern or sunlight maggot or something like that, but cast light seems to work pretty good. You just need a catalyst and 14 intelligence. So between um, uh, part 22 and 23, I did grind out like 30k souls just on these guys. Um, I didn't really go anywhere extra, I just did what we already already saw here in this area. But it helped me get used to the area a little bit too, by grinding on them. <laughs> grinding on them. Um, so I'm going to show every little spot you can... Uh, well, I don't know if it's every spot, because I didn't look it up. I just casted light and walked around the whole place. And uh, wherever something was revealed, I would uh, capture. So... Every time I revealed a secret area with cast light, I captured it, and I'm putting it, on, putting it on part 23. Then we also make progress. We finish the area. We get a crystal lizard. I'll show you where to get that. There's a couple little secret uh, items. So lots of, like, secret uh, hidden uh, illusory um, secret areas in this part, and then the end of the area leading into the next area with a little mini boss fight. So that's what you have to look forward to in this part, this short little 20 minute part because I don't know, that's how it ended up. Uh, the end of the area was when I quit and we'll start the next area in, the, in part 24. So yeah, you gotta cast light or you gotta have a lantern or you gotta have the sunlight maggot, something that gives off actual light. Like you can't use pyromancy here is a crystal lizard. If you jump and do a jumping attack, you can actually stun it and then kill it in one more shot. So, Twinkling Titanite, always worth it. Twinkling Titanite will upgrade stuff like um, the Black Knight set, the Silver Knight set. Um, what else does Twinkling Titanite upgrade? Twinkling Titanite, uh, special weapons. Um... Not like uh, dragon weapons or anything, but I don't know. Like Black Knight Sword, Black Knight uh, Halberd, stuff like that. So Black Knight weapons, Silver Knight weapons, Silver Knight armor, Black Knight armor. And there's other things. I'm just not, it's not coming to mind at the moment. I think like Havel's Dragon Tooth, maybe. That might be Dragon. Uh, that might be uh, not correct, though. Twinkling Titanite. But drop down right here. This is where you get the um, the first one. Let there be light. That's how I knew to do this. The developers give you a, a clue. I don't think that was in the game at first. But we get the silver pendant, which is... Silver pendant engraved with the crest of Artorius, one of the ancient treasures of Anorlando presented to Artorius for facing the abyss, effectively doubles the dark of the abyss, especially in its magic forms. What I think this does, and here's the next spot you can reveal uh, uh, something, or have, I don't know, it's a secret area or a reveal with the cast light, I'm not sure. But the silver pendant, I think you can use it and it gives you some sort of magic protection against the kind of kinds of magic you're about to face. So it's castable on its, on yourself. But here's a little spot you can jump down to. Uh, this was close to where um, I think I got these out of order a little bit, 
but just a tad. You could, I could have jumped down here first. But see how I'm running along the walls? I don't know where, where everything is, so I'm just running along all the walls to see if anything reveals itself. But this is like, um, that, you know that big area with all of those guys, and, uh, you walk down the stairs, and there's like that big area with like five of those guys, and two sorcerers, and, and a body hanging from the chain and everything. Well, if you go to the right and up those stairs, and then follow that along, uh, you will be able to jump down here and uh, fight this mimic and get this item. So there's a little wooden plank that you have to like either jump off or flip off to get to this platform with the fireplace. And you'll get this item. I think I show it <clears throat> in a minute. I'll show exactly where. But bent crest key. The grooves of the crest are enchanted. The door sealed with a powerful spell. So we had a locked door earlier after we beat Artorius. So I'm guessing that's where it goes. Um, but this is the big area I was talking about with all the dudes and the sorcerers shooting you. This this area is pretty tough. I died here several times when I was farming souls. And I think in the last video as well. So lots of deaths here that you did not see probably. Lots of running away and healing up. and But this kind of tough. This area is kind of tough. Like right here. Right here. You got two sorcerers shooting at you, like five or six of the other guys. Um, and then just ahead, there's a bunch more, like five more dudes and two more sorcerers that can almost one-shot me. For some reason, as you go along in this level, the sorcerers get stronger. Uh, in the beginning, they're just taking out like two or three bubbles. Uh, right around here, they're taking around three and a half to four. And then at the end, they can almost kill you. They They will burn you down to like one bubble and then they'll smack you and kill you but got rid of him I did um shoot down that body not sure if I showed that or not uh there was a spell on it uh a dark fog or something but I think I showed that next I just have this a little bit out of order it looks like I could have fixed it I guess but no big deal <clears throat> These are the long stairs I was talking about. We saw this in the last video. Uh, just go running along the uh, corners, running along the walls here to see if anything reveals itself with the cast light. Because I've already had that happen twice, I think. I just didn't show you the second time yet. Ooh, I'm going to die. It's very close. Got the heck out. You know, you got to do that. Get the F out. Luckily, I cleared everything behind myself. So we should be good. And turn around and whoop their butts. Those guys can be a problem. Like, they take two hits, and then if there's two of them, that means you have to hit four times. There's also a sorcerer shooting you with ranged magic that, like, kind of knocks you around. And then you're just, you could be in big trouble because they can do that flailing move. You know how the Hollows would do that flailing move back in, like, Undead Berg, where all of a sudden you die because they catch you with every single hit of their flail? Uh, these guys can do the same thing. And obviously it's hard to get hit by it, but if, when you do, and if you get hit by the first, like, two, you're dead. You're dead. Um, the flail move that they do. It's like a windmill. windmill. You know when you're little and you, like, lower your head and just windmill your arms? Uh, whenever, like, your brother's trying to attack you or something. Like, I have a, a younger brother. He's, like, two years younger than me, and we would always fight. And that's the kind of stuff we would do to each other. we try the windmill punches. I'd be like, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just keep windmilling my arms, and you just try to get me. And then he would just get punched in the face, you know? I'd be like, oh, you lose. <laughs> you lose, bro. Now we're, like, best friends. Back in the day, it was funny. We used to fight so much. That's what happens when you grow up, though. But here's the spot I was talking about. This little plank. Remember, like, the pirate's plank here? The you, That's where you jump off to get to the crest key. And here is another reveal. Pretty sure. There it is. That's like the second one. 
Supposedly you can jump around over there and get to this, but uh, I couldn't figure it out. And um, so just running along the walls, make sure nothing else reveals itself. I think that's it, though. I think there was only two. Let me look. Let me see here. I think there was only two, but in this one we have a red Titanite chunk. So if you're going for some sort of fire weapon upgrade, there you go. And what do we have next here? Uh, this is back where we jumped down from the pirate's plank that I was talking about. Um, just a little bit out of order, sorry about that. But jumping around a little bit. There is another little secret area right here. You can go down. This is just after the Mimic. Just after the Crest Key. I probably should have put this right after that one, but it is what it is. I'm not going to change it. But there's another area down here. You can drop down onto that roof area. Roof, roof. Do you say it like roof or like roof? Tell me in the comments, do you say roof or roof? And did you ever do the windmill technique? Put that in the comments. This is a shorter video. More people should hear this right now. So, windmill technique, yes or no? Roof or roof? Those are your ass homework assignments for this episode. This shorter episode of the DLC, Ula Seal Township. We're almost done with the Ula Seal Township. Next is Chasm of the Abyss, where we will be fighting, I guess, Manus, I think his name is. Twin Humanities, I needed that. I'm getting so low on humanity. But the good thing is, I think the next area has a way to farm humanity. And then, uh, if I want to, I could go to the Tomb of Giants next. And there's a way to farm it there, too, with uh, the baby skeletons. I used to farm. I should probably make a standalone video on that, huh? This game's pretty old, though. I guess somebody else probably already did that a long time ago. Might be a good standalone video, though. Like, put it in the playlist, but also, like, make it its own thing. Like, how to farm this much humanity in this many minutes, you know? The best farming, humanity farming spot in Dark Souls. I don't know. Something like that. Some catchy baity title. So what you do is, you go in the Tomb of Giants. It's right before uh, Gravelord Nido. There's this little spot. If you go down this, into this, like, water. Down these little stairs. This is where you cut the, uh, 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 the dude down. For the Dark Fog or whatever it is. The spell. You can also shoot him down with a bow and arrow. But that's what I was showing there, just showing the little jump off for the Twin Humanities and the spot where you can get the, uh, the spell. So that was that little piece of video. Now we're gonna do this. This part, we're gonna head forward into the level. So I think we're done with the cast light stuff. Um, this part, if you run straight ahead into that, you're going to die. I think I died a couple times trying to, um, I don't know, I got a little bit too close when I didn't want to and uh, before I was ready to capture. And I got killed like once by these guys. Look at these sorcerers. There's two right there. They're super powerful, like more than, more than you've been facing up to this point. They either have like an extra spell or two, or they're more powerful or something. So I'm going to shoot them with bow and arrow from here. Um, some people might look down on using a bow and arrow in this game, but they're just, I mean, if you're a noob, you should really get used to using it. Because it's very helpful in a bunch of spots. As long as you're not getting rushed or attacked by multiple enemies and you can shoot them with a bow and arrow from far away, you can take down half their life bar before they get to you, or you can kill them, bef kill them from far away, you can use poison arrows, and these guys are tough, so I could, fa I could have fought the mini boss with just poison arrows, but I didn't do that because I didn't want to, I don't know, I didn't want to hear about cheesing in the comments. 
but there if you look if you look closely at the doorway up there and look through it and then look into the all the way through that room there's a, a mini boss there I think or it's you know it's a big enemy I don't know if you'd call it a mini boss or not I guess it is because it's kind of like guarding the next area but I think you don't I don't think you have to face it so what makes a mini boss a mini boss I think in my opinion a mini boss is it's not as powerful as a real boss obviously it's a little bit bigger than a normal enemy though with a bigger life bar but I think it needs to like prevent progression as well if it doesn't prevent progression then is it really a mini boss it's just a harder enemy I mean you got like black knights um stone giants uh there's many different class of enemies in this game, and I don't know what to classify this guy as coming up. It's almost a mini-boss, but then I think you can just run around him and, and get past him if you wanted to. So it's more like a Black Knight than a um, like a full-on mini-boss where you have to f defeat it to progress. Because most of the time, that's what you have to do with bosses. Look at that. See that? Look at that spell. And then he does something in the sky right here. Look at this. Luckily, I was behind this pillar. But look up in the air there. Yeah, they're doing some crazy magic. Closer you get to the uh, Chasm of the Abyss, I think they get stronger. But look at that. That was, like, lucky. I only got hit by half of that. And then I barely caught him on the end of my scythe. Luckily. And that was after shooting a bunch of arrows, like a... You-know-what in boots. A you-know-what in boots, bro. Windmill, roof or roof, a uh, you know what in boots. Alright, so big, huge open area with nothing in it. Looks like a boss room. I thought something was going to jump down. Wasn't sure. I saw that thing moving like in the doorway, but I thought it was going to be something bigger than what we got. Jumping down, like that was just a fake out. You know how Artorius killed the, um the enemy in the cutscene. I thought maybe that was going to happen here, but this guy is formidable. Watch what he does. Boom! Like, I dodged his first one, and he hit me at the second one. Pretty hard, and he's not slow either. Like, he's not fast, but he's not slow. He'll catch up with you if you let him. See, look at that. He's right behind me. I try to use the stairs to my advantage since he swings on, like, a horizontal plane. So he's just going right over my head. So I get a couple really good hits in. But he still hits me there, but not as bad as he would have, I don't think. Still trying to use the stairs. Don't want him to go all the way down, because I want him to be throwing his rock over my head. Using my uh, R2, two-handed R2, which is super powerful. Almost got him dead. <coughs> I tried to heal up, and he uh, charged me and got me there. So more mobility than you would think. So nice little uh, mini boss fight here. So what I could have done is shoot him uh, with bow and arrow and poison him. Because you can poison this guy. I do test it out towards the end. So, But I kill him mostly with the scythe. I was just kind of testing it out. Let's see if we can poison him. Right here I kind of get stuck in my uh, bow and arrow camera. And he gets me right there. I thought I was going to die here because I couldn't get out of my bow and arrow. Finally get out. Get the F out. Heal up. He's dying to poison up there. Luckily. We got a shot. Enough shots on him to build up his meter. So now he's dying to poison. But I don't want to hear about it. So bang. Killed him. Could have let him die to the poison. Probably could have walked away. And went to the next area. And he still would have died to the poison. But that's that. That's the, uh, I don't know his name. But, um, that's a sort of a mini-boss type, Black Knight type, uh, giant type enemy. Definitely not a normal enemy, for sure. He was guarding the next area. 
He was hitting pretty hard. He had a big life bar. So I'd call it somewhat of a mini-boss. But what do you call a mini-boss? Put that in the comments, too. I'm giving you lots of, lots of homework. Roof or roof? Did you ever windmill your brother or sister? Um, what else? Uh, you know what, in boots. I don't know what you're supposed to say about that, but, uh, yeah. And then a mini-boss. What do you call a mini-boss? Does it have to, um, block your progression? Do you have to kill it to make it to the next area? Does it have to have a life bar at the bottom of the screen? Or does it just have to have more health than a normal enemy, hit harder than a normal enemy, be bigger than a normal enemy? What do you think? Should it be something you have to beat to get to the next area? Because I could have just ran right down here, I think. He might have chased after me and made it difficult, but... And then, look at this, uh... Surprise! This guy's riding the lift somehow. Not much of a threat, though, by himself. Maybe if there's like, five of them on the lift, that would've been cool. But they probably would've had problems, uh, having them stand on there together without falling off that would have been a good surprise though or a sorcerer like two sorcerers right there that would have been sick ready to like fire at you as soon as you come up <clears throat> people probably would have complained though because you would have maybe got one shot by the magic but here is a bonfire we are safe and sound done with Ula Seal Township I think we um picked it clean I don't think there's anything we missed I don't think you know I didn't check not, I don't know, I might check, who knows. But I don't know. I don't think we missed anything. and I think we picked Ulysseo Township clean. Now we're on to the next area. Let's repair our equipment. And that's probably going to be it for this episode. We'll start fresh in um, Chasm of the Abyss. Don't want to make it too long. And if I keep going, we have a whole other area. A boss... It's dark in here, probably. It looks, I mean, it's called Chasm of the Abyss. Like, it's gonna be dark, I think. So, I don't want to start a whole new uh, area when we're already like 22, 23 minutes in. So, I think I'll end it here, and we'll just uh, do Chasm of the Abyss on Saturday. So, if you're following along with the series, there's a playlist and everything. Um, we do... Dark Souls on Wednesday and Saturday. So follow along the playlist, and I'll see you guys Saturday for Chasm of the Abyss. Like, share, subscribe, comment below your homework that I gave you, and uh, I'll see y'all next time for the Chasm of the Abyss, and I think part 23 or 24, I don't know, whatever. Have a good day. Peace.